Welcome on back, Fail Pals. I just wanted you to see this Vanda. It is water culture related, but I'm sticking to Phalaenopsis. But I wanted you to see the algae because this is the worst case scenario. I mean, it is horrible. It's horrendous. It's a whole different video. It's a whole different video. But I wanted you guys to take a chance to look at my Phalaenopsis orchids over here. And welcome on back. Thank you, thank you for staying tuned. These are just some of my Phalaenopsis orchids that are growing in the method of water culture. They have been in the same water for over a month. Now, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I will show you the ones that is in the worst case scenario. But up next is going to be the ones that actually thrived with no water changes in over a month. Stay tuned. Now, over five weeks left in the same water, no water changes. I was able to get this baby to make a flower spike. Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it lost a leaf. That's the natural process. You can see a new leaf was just grown, but you see that flower spike. Absolutely. And the ones that did not grow flower spikes in the algae, they actually produced a lot of new roots. Look at here. All of that new root production. It all goes to show if you give your orchids time, okay, you pay attention to them. You know, I normally say to keep the water clean, but these are orchids that are already introduced and established in the water culture method. Let me know in the comment box below, what is the longest that you have let your Phalaenopsis orchids live in water? Stay okay, tuned. welcome on back to my no judgment zone. Orchids for dummies. Make sure to like this video. So these Phalaenopsis orchids right here are the orchids that out of my 25 orchids growing in the method of water culture had consumed all of the water. And so they have been dry for some time now. So if you want to know, girl, they done it naturally. As you can see, new roots, okay, active root tips letting you know that this orchid is a-okay. I think of flower spike in a leaf is trying to come out or if that leaf is just stuck in there all together. That's a whole different video. This one right here is going to be one of the worst case scenarios because it never liked water culture in the beginning. So it's very dehydrated and wrinkled. A whole different video. But as you can see, a new root is emerging and you have active root tips. So as long as you're not panicking, your orchids will be okay. So many people are like, oh, I tried water culture and it did not work. Honey, you're doing too much because how is it that I have these orchids in here? I'm not watching them. I'm not maintaining them. And they are okay. Some of the roots are dead, girl, yes. But girl, it's going to grow new roots. It's going to grow new roots. My Phalaenopsis Randy that I was supposed to repot 500 years ago, the top leaves are just now starting to be wrinkled, meaning it's dehydrated, but it still has a new leaf coming out, very purple, okay? And as you can see, it does have new roots or active root tips. Ugh. Okay, and she's actually stuck in here because she's some kind of way attached her roots um, to the glass. So I will have to wet this up um, to be able to detach her without tearing up the roots. Okay, fell pals. Here is another one. The um, leaf is starting to grow. The um, roots, okay, all of the water is gone, like I see it. As you can see, a lot of new root development. I'm trying to help you, fail pills, but you have to listen to me. Stop listening to everybody at the same time. You have to choose one method and go with it. My method is the easiest because, girl, all you're doing is sticking it in water. That's all you're doing. Just put it in a jar of water. And guess what, Boo Boo Kitty? Now, a new flower spike from an old flower spike, baby. 
orchids for dummies. The proof is in the pudding. It's in the pudding. Okay, last but not least, least. <laughs> um, you can see new roots growing right there. A new leaf is growing. Um, she's pulling nutrients from this bottom leaf. Okay, that's okay. The top leaves are just fine. Um, it's only the bottom leaves where you're starting to see the wrinkling, meaning it's dehydrated, but it has not been dehydrated for long. As you can see, new roots, new roots, new roots. I ain't doing nothing special. I'm not doing nothing special, boo-boo. I'm not doing nothing special. Now stay tuned. Okay, welcome on back, foul pals. So the last video I just showed you were these same orchids from when I changed out the water, April 13th. Today is May the 22nd. Happy Mother's Day to all of my beautiful women. But as you can see, some of the orchids like this girl, the water is all the way gone. It's all the way gone. This has a lot of ooey and gooey. And I know that you're like, oh my God, these orchids are dead. You can't do that. But for each root that died or suffocated, you have new roots that emerge. So stay hopeful and stay to the same watering regime that you are doing and you will have success. Don't switch it up too often. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, Fal Pals, last but definitely not least, you have Phalaenopsis orchids that have accumulated so much algae from collecting my rainwater off of the roof. We're going to see if that algae does anything detrimental to our Phalaenopsis orchid roots. I'm going to rinse off these roots and then I'm going to let you see let you determine, let you be the judge if you will be able to do the same thing. I want you to take into consideration that you don't see any white mold. You don't see any black mold. Once again, proving that you are able to leave your orchids in water 24-7, seven days a week. Now, will you receive optimal growth? I don't know, Boo Boo Kitty. Do you do you have a kiki having a kiki growing? Okay, is that optimal growth to you? New roots is that optimal growth to you? Everybody, optimal growth is going to be different. It's dropping a leaf, but it's growing one too. You got new roots. What what else do you want? What else do you want? Okay, welcome on back, baby. I'm so sorry for a lengthy video, but some things you just have to show people. So these are the containers. As you can see, the ooey and gooey inside of it. Mm -hmm. It actually stained the glass. Ooey and gooey. I don't know what this ooey and gooey is. If you know, leave it in the comment box below. But my darling fail pals, the roots are just fine. No mushy and gushy. No mushy and gushy. The roots are just fine, foul pals. No mushy and gushy. No mushy and gushy at all. Okay? Self-sufficient orchids grown in the method of water culture. Lift in water 24-7. Seven, seven days a week. For over a month. Well, foul pals, I hope <laughs> that you have a happy growing until...